hi everyone the lord bless you welcome to kingdom upgrades youtube channel i am your ambassador delon vote like and subscribe to this channel to hear and know more of our content the content i'm here to pre present to us is something the lord has been speaking to me of of for the past week and a half they keep bringing it to me and opening it up and i'm here and they saying to me go record this and post it to your youtube channel this is what the lord wants us to understand let, let us go to zachariah 4 6 then he said to me this is the word of the lord to zerubbabel saying not by might nor by power but by my spirit says the lord of hosts the lord wants us to understand in this hour that what has to be accomplished and what will be accomplished has to be accomplished by the spirit of god by the continuous supply of oil this is speaking of the anointing the continuous supply of the anointing that is the oil a flow excuse me that is going to pick up in an acceleration and build momentum momentum the reality is the work cannot be accomplished by mere men and the strength of mere men that is why the word of the lord came to zerubbabel because the work that he had to accomplish had to be done by the spirit of god the rebuilding of the temple the rebuilding of this of jerusalem had to be done by the spirit of god and the lord wants us to understand in this hour what has to be accomplished has to be accomplished by the spirit of god this cannot be a work of mere men mere men is fragile mere men is no match for the kingdom of darkness this is why we need the anointing we need our, our lamps to be oiled we need to have oil in our lamps we need to be saturated in oil we need to have a continual and continuous supply of oil outside of that it is impossible so god is saying to us it is not by might it is not by power but it is by my spirit says the lord of hosts the one whom the oil symbolized and is symbolic of the spirit of god and this is what the lord is saying he said tell leaders that wherever in this hour his spirit is not manifesting or his presence the presence of the lord is not residing is not dwelling is not present persons will begin to diminish buildings and fellowship will diminish they will dissolve persons will begin to gravitate where the spirit of god is because the spirit of god draws us it is the spirit of the lord that draws the people he said tell leaders do not focus on numbers at this time don't look at attendance don't look at numbers but rather focus on getting your oil in your lamp and be positioned because where the oil is not, where the oil is not present, the people will begin to walk away, go away. Because they will be gravitated and attracted to where the oil is present. So he said to tell the leaders, humbly say to them, in this hour, it is important to focus on getting your oil in your lamp and paying attention in continuously having a supply of the oil because it is not by might it is not by power but it is by my spirit 
says the Lord of hosts. So the work will be accomplished by the Spirit of God. And where the Spirit of God is not present and His presence, the presence of God, His presence is not, it will become empty, it will become void of people because they will all go away. So the Lord said, tell the leaders, tell them to focus on getting their lamps filled with oil. Where oil is not present, fellowships will die literally. Places of fellowship will die because his spirit will draw persons where they need to go. Because he said this is the time of freedom, deliverance, and restoration. And the work that has to be done has to be accomplished by the Spirit of God. And he loved his people for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So this is the time of setting the people free, delivering the people, and causing them to walk in greater victory. And it is the power of the Spirit of God that has to be do doing it. It is the power of the Spirit of the Lord that has to get it done. Where the oil is not, everything will die literally. God. In the Rebe Koshindo Rebe Katarabandi, God, I pray your mercy. God, I pray for strength. My God, I pray for wisdom in this hour. I pray for knowledge and understanding, God. I pray you meet your people at the point of their needs, God. Where they need your strength, God, meet them, God. Become that which you must to them, God. Even as they submit their lives to you and surrender to you and desire, God. I pray, God, that you're going to meet them at a point of their needs in this our minister, grace and strength. In Dale Koshida Rabasite, God's strength is made perfect in your weakness. Where you're weak, God's strength will be made perfect in this hour. Mande Kalabashida Kadabasiti God. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. I thank you for strength. I thank you for strengthening your people, God. I pray God for wisdom, God. I pray for knowledge and I pray for understanding, God. Meet your people, God, at the point of their needs, God. I pray your kingdom come in their lives individually and collectively, God. I pray your will be done in the name of Jesus Christ according to your plan and your purpose in this hour. In Jesus Christ's name. So, Lord, have your way. In Jesus' name. Come your kingdom. Come your will be done in earth, in earthen vessels, on earth. In Jesus' name. Shalom. The Lord bless you.